Armium. Hello everybody, I am Nico D and in this video we are gonna take a look at how to build your own Armbian images. For Windows users, I already made a video where I show the process using the Windows subsystem for Linux or WSL2 for short. Watch that video if you want to use Windows. So this video is aimed to Linux users, so both on x86 and ARM. It used to be that you needed an x86 PC with Ubuntu or a VM with Ubuntu at least. But those days are behind us now. Now you can build on almost anything, even your toaster. So it is very simple to build Armin images, but there are two different advised ways to do this. So the first way is with Ubuntu 2204 or Armbian Jami. And the second way is with Docker on any other Linux distro. So the system requirements are first a 64 bit quad core or better on either x86 or ARM. I am using an RK3588 for that. Those are very powerful, but even the RK3399 can do it or Android N2 Plus. But it is advised to have 16 GB of memory. It can work with less. If your system doesn't meet these requirements, then you can create a swap file on your fastest storage device. With 8 GB of memory, you should have enough for most builds. But when you use compression, it will need more. And of course, using a swap file will slow down the process of building. So third is we need at least 25 gigabytes of free disk space. This is only to build one image. If you want to build more images, then you will need a lot more, of course. The faster the storage, the faster the builds. Compiling on SD cards will be slow, so not recommended at all. And as fourth, of course, we need a stable internet connection. The faster the internet connection, the faster the builds. And don't use a flaky Wi-Fi. Let's start with the first advised way which is native building on Ubuntu 22.04 or ARM in Jammy. If a later LTS Ubuntu has been released then use that. We are in the year 23 right now. So 24.04 hasn't been released yet. So if we browse to the ARM in websites, there to documentation, developers guides, and then building Armbian and go down a bit here. Then we see this. So all we need to do is install git. So sudo apt install git. Then download the build framework by cloning the repository. So git clone dept1 branch main github.com armbian slash builds. Once that is done, we can open the build directory, so cd build, and now we can run the build script. So to do that, we just type dot slash compile dot sh. No sudo is needed and no root access is needed either. So first thing it does is check if docker is installed. If so, it will use docker. Since we do not have docker installed, it asks for our password to have sudo writes. So the first option allows customization of the kernel configuration. This is for more advanced users who want for example to change kernel modules. We will not take a look at that in this video. So we choose the first, do not change the kernel configuration. Maybe I can do a video about diving into the kernel config at another time. Next we can choose our board. So there are a lot of them. All these are the supported boards. If you want to build for an unsupported board, then you need to go to show CSC work in progress EOS TV box. That also brings you into the expert mode, but more on that later. After choosing our board, we get to choose what kernel branch we would like. So here for the Vim tree, there is current and edge. Current is the LTS kernel, while edge is the latest possible kernel. There might also be a vendor for other boards like RK3588. Let's go for current now. If you do not need the bleeding edge, then go for this. Next choice is what distro version we want to build. Now we have a choice between Bookworm Debian 12 
Bullseye Debian 11 and Jammy Ubuntu 22.04. Let's go for Jammy. Now we can choose between a server image or an image with a desktop environment. I'm choosing a desktop. Now we can choose our desktop. So there is Cinnamon, Gnome, i3wm and xfc4. Since the Cinnamon desktop isn't there to download for the Kadas Vim 3 on the Armbian download page, I will build this. So next is the config base. Nothing to do here for now, so let's go further. Now we choose what software we want installed in our image. So I will select everything. 3D support is only for the socks that have pan frost on mainline. RK3588 for example needs other drivers that you need to install manually. That's it. Now it should build the image as you requested. The time it takes to build depends on a lot of factors. So internet download speeds, CPU performance, file system performance. Here on my Mikrotronics R58 mini PC with the RK3588 it takes about 10 minutes to build this first image. The more images you build, the faster it can build, since it is caching a lot, but it also takes up more and more disk space. So if you want to use this build system for a long time, it is best to have more than 100 gigabytes free. I've got my build server and that has got a 250 gigabyte SSD. So the build has finished and it took 13 minutes and 40 seconds. So here with this you can upload the log file and if something has gone wrong you can give the URL. So here is the log file, so everything went well. Another handy command is .compile.sh share-log equals yes. That uploads the log to a pastebin service and it generates a link. Show this generated link when you have problems building and when you need help. And with this you can repeat the build process. So all you need is this line, you don't have to go through the menu. And now the image has been built, where are our images? So we go to outputs and there to images. So here is my Kadas Vim 3 image, jammy with the cinnamon desktop. So let's write this onto an SD card. Plug it into my Kadas Vim 3. And as you see, it boots. And here is NeoFetch. So as you see, the Kadas Vim 3 with Jammy, Armbin Jammy. So that's great. We have built our first image and booted it. So another handy comment is dot slash compile.sh expert equals yes. So this unlocks a lot more build options, but these build options are unsupported. So do not ask for support if you have problems here. So now we also see all boards by default. So the end of support, community supported configuration, TV boxes, work in progress and the supported. You also have more choices in distro versions to build, like Ubuntu Focal for example and sometimes also more desktops are available. Again, these are not supported. If you are a beginner, no support will be given if problems arise, but for advanced users, feel free to fix bugs and file patches. So now let's build an image for an unsupported board. So I'm gonna build for the Mikrotronics R58 mini PC that I am using right now. And I'm going to build Lunar, so that is Ubuntu 23.10. So that was the first way, so now let's show you the second way. So this is to use Docker. This should be possible on any Linux distro, but the installation of Docker might be different. So on Armbian images and any Ubuntu or Debian based distros, we do this sudo apt update sudo apt install docker.io do not install just docker without the .io once that is installed we do sudo user mod 
dash a big g docker then your username so for me nico d then we reboot then to check if docker is working we do docker info and now it should be using docker so docker works that is great so there is one thing i have to do so i have been building without docker and i cannot use the same build directory so i will have to remove the build directory that i've got now so for that sudo rm dash r for recursive and build with that it deletes the build folder and now downloads the build folder again so everything should be the same as i showed previously this can also work on apple devices i will try to find somebody with an apple device to make a video on that my old power imac g4 ain't gonna cut it so that's gonna be it for this video now you know how to build your own armbian images in all varieties it is handy to test new software to try the latest patches and bug fixes to build older dist rules for legacy software and many more things so if you are able please donate to armbian to help grow this project Or think of becoming an Armbian volunteer just like me. And now we also have the Armbian desktop wallpaper contest. So if you are good in graphics designs, try your luck. You might win a banana pie SBC. So thank you all for watching, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, see you all later, bye!